Imagine you had a container, say the size of a trash can, and you had a choice of various things to fill it. You had gravel, you had small rocks, and, and big rocks. You could try to fill it with gravel, and you could uh, fill it with gravel and with sand, but then you wouldn't have room for the big rocks to go in. If you have big things in the container that need to go in there or in your life, put the big rocks in first. Then the gravel and the sand and all the rest will fill in around the spaces. But you have to do the big things first, even though you might not want to. If you want a life filled with wonderful things, Remember to put them in there first. Winston Churchill said, Forward, then forward. Let us go forward without fear into the future. Let us dread not when duty calls. Now, if you've acquired the habit of doing the most important work in your life first and foremost, congratulations. Because that is the key to a successful life. But if you find yourself putting off the unpleasant tasks until later or never, you might want to give some thoughts to the consequences of that behavior. Chronic procrastinators squeeze the joy out of their own lives it may be difficult to summon up the determination and the courage and the wisdom to prevent and to overcome procrastination. But you can free yourself from the emotional quicksand by paying less attention to your fears and more attention to your responsibilities. They're really opportunities opportunities that have been given to you by God. In James 1 verse 22, it says, Do what God's teaching says. When you only listen and do nothing, you are fooling yourselves. So when you're faced with a difficult choice or when you're faced with an unpleasant task, don't waste time fretting over your fate. Simply seek God. When you simply seek God, you will get busy, and God will get busy with you. When you do, you're going to be richly rewarded immediately and then your whole life long because of your willingness to act God bless you.